Wind and solar sources have become clean energy champions. But can humans harness lightning in the same way? Every second of the day, Mother Nature puts on a spectacular show with an average of around 100 lightning bolts striking the Earth's surface. That is an amazing 8.6 million strikes every single day, with each strike discharging up to 1 billion joules of electrostatically stored energy. However, capturing and using this energy poses a raft of challenges. The first challenge is knowing where lightning will strike. Although lightning occurs roughly 100 times a second around the globe, these flashes are erratic and unpredictable, with only a small proportion reaching the ground. But there are places like Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela, has flashes several times per minute, and this place has been recorded with the highest number of lightning strikes per square kilometer in the world. Even if we tried to install a lightning capturing system there, we'd be faced with the problem of a strike's intensity and duration. Lightning is both incredibly powerful and crazy fast. Each strike would force about 50,000 amps of current into a battery in just microseconds. No existing battery could survive this onslaught. Conventionally speaking, batteries are designed to charge slowly and steadily. Finally, the amount of energy that you could harvest from lightning may simply not justify the effort. The 1 billion joules in one lightning bolt amounts to about 300 kilowatt hours, enough to power an average European home for about one month. In reality, however, a significant proportion of this energy is dissipated into the atmosphere as heat compounding the limited total energy and the difficulty and loss in accessing it, we can barely create a tiny fraction of a percent of the power that we use every day from atmospheric lightning. Sadly, it is completely, utterly unfeasible to use lightning for electricity. But cheer up, it is still beautiful to watch.